Antibiotics are an issue. And they're more an issue than I thought. So fluoroquinolones are particularly an issue. What are fluoroquinolones? Uh, moxifloxacin, Avalox, the most disruptive of the beta cells. And then uh, levofloxacin, Levaquin, and Cypro. You've probably heard about most people have heard of Cypro. They all increase the rate of diabetes significantly, okay? Um, and if you already have diabetes, it's even worse. It's kind of like the statin drugs. If you already have diabetes, the effect of, effect of statins on you is, is really worse. We think it's toxicity of the beta cells. Uh, we don't know for sure. But uh, if you have five different antibiotic treatments over 17 years, you're going to have a 50% increase in your chances of getting diabetes. That's of any antibiotics. The fluoroquinolones are the most outstanding cause. Any antibiotics, and maybe it's because they disrupt the, the flora of the gut. We, we don't know for sure, okay? Uh, is it beta cell toxicity? Could be a little bit of the, all of those. But what I'm looking at is that, and if you just had two to four prescriptions in 17 years, a 23% increase. So it's significant. We want to kind of, there are emergencies that people may need to do antibiotics, but short of that, we shouldn't be taking it for colds because it doesn't work anyway, it's virus. But, but the point I'm making is something else. In terms of diabetes, antibiotic usage does increase your rates of diabetes. That's the important thing that we really have to understand.